Hi friends, it's Miss Brandy and I'm going to do a little art with you today. So some things that you're going to need is a plain piece of paper, some paint, any color, any kind. You just need a tiny bit. You don't need a whole bunch. So I have red and I have green. I also have two marbles. You can have as many marbles as you want, but I'm using two. And what and I also have a a tray. You can use any kind of tray. So Hi friends, you're going to put your paper inside of your tray. Once you put your paper inside of your tray, you're gonna take your paint and you're gonna put not a whole bunch, but a good amount right in the center of your paper. So I'm gonna put a big right in the center. Then if you're using more than one color, put a little bit of each on in the center of your paper. And I'm going to show you how to do this two different ways so that if you don't have marbles at home, you can do it a different way. But right now is we're going to do it with marbles. So I have my paper in my tray. I have my green and red paint in the center. I'm going to drop my marbles in my container and I'm going to move them all around. And your marbles are gonna go in your paint. Mayan keep trying to hide from me and go under. They're gonna go in your paint and you're gonna move them all around town. And they're going to make a pretty design. And you wanna just keep moving them around until your paint in the center is pretty much spread all around your paper. So when you're done, your paper should be like this. Your marbles drew a picture when you were moving it around. This is what mine looks like, friends. And when you're done yours, I hope you share it with your teacher so that we can see it. I hope you enjoyed it, friends. All right, friends, so if you don't have marbles at home, this is how you can do it. Still use your tray, your piece of paper, put it inside your tray. Now you, instead of using marbles, you can use your finger, you can use a Q-tip, you can use a toothpick, or any other item at home that you may have that you would like to use. You can even use a paintbrush if, that, if you have a paintbrush. So again, you're just going to put a little bit of paint in the center of your paper paper inside your tin and a little bit of paint in the center of your paper and then you can use your toothpick and just swirl it around move it all around the paint and you'll make different designs your colors will merge if you're using more than one color and if you're using a toothpick, you do the same thing. Just be easy because you don't want to poke through your paper and make a hole in it. And if you're not using that, you're using your finger. You can just move your finger all around. If you're using your finger or the toothpick, you could even try to make different letters or numbers or try to write your name or just go all around the paper and spread your paint out. And after a few minutes of doing that, this is what mine looks like if I use my finger or a Q-tip or a toothpick or a paintbrush, anything you have at home, friends, you can, you can use. 
So if you're not using marbles, use something else. I hope you guys had a great time and we can't wait to see your pictures. So share them with your teachers. Bye friends.